Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you once again from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. Hope you're having a good day. It's a, it's a nice day here in the whiskey den, uh, as always. So today, this is going to be a little bit of a different re first taste review video. Uh, we're doing Weller Full Proof, which is 114 proof. It is the... I'm going to say this again, so I don't know why I'm saying it now. <laughs> but... Uh, we buffalo trace weeded mash bill recipe bourbon like i said 114 proof uh a couple of nights ago my wife and i were invited over to our friend zach's house because we had another friend coming from pittsburgh to come visit and figured you know he figured hey we'll have you guys over blah 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 on his <laughs> bar cart he has a nice opened bottle of Weller Full Proof. Uh, obviously, I have not opened this one. I've had it since about a year now. There's a special drop around uh, Christmas of 2023. Scored this bottle. And I've basically, I have so many bottles that I'm enjoying. I want to save this for a special occasion. So fortunately, thanks to Zach, I was able to sample the Weller Full Proof because he had the open bottle without opening mine as of yet. So let's watch that first taste reaction. And then we're going to come back and uh, tell you a little bit more about my thoughts on the Weller Foolproof. So we're going to go on location at my friend Zach's place. So here you go. My friend's house right now. And he's graciously allowing me to have a little try my first try of the Weller foolproof so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do bumpers before and after so this is the middle of the video I gotta explain all this technical stuff so as we know it's the Buffalo Trace number or not number two the weeded mash bill um, not sure what the age statement is Usually they age this like around seven years at 114 proof. I'm a fan of the 107, so let's see how the... Oh, wow. <laughs> Beautiful on the nose, nice and spicy, nice color. That nice rich amber color, brown amber. It just, it's got such a intoxicating nose to it. So let's see what we got. It hits you like a ton of bricks. Got a great Kentucky hug. It's just heating up the insides. Man. This is like, this is the special occasion stuff. It's everything I enjoy with the Antique 107. But it just, <laughs> it's so much more. It, it's the elegance on it is really elevated and man I I wish they would release this a bit more readily rather than like once a year or whatever whatever the release is on it here in Ohio it's like I think around Christmas time they'll do these special Weller releases and um, just good stuff so I think the MSRP on this is around 60 bucks. Just a really good, flavorful bourbon. And so we'll leave it there. I'm gonna just kick back, enjoy the rest of this, and we'll send it back over to my whiskey den. There you are. <laughs> uh, back here in the whiskey den. So, initial thoughts. I was, you know, it, I was there. It was, it wasn't here. I kinda, didn't want to go through all the notes I was getting um, on that initial taste. But to me, that first taste, just phenomenal. Uh, it reminded me of a weeded version of Wild Turkey Rare Breed. That, you know, proof point, you get that spiciness. Um, only in this case, you're getting that wheat, uh, like a nice, deep, rich, whole wheat bread, spicy flavor. 
Uh, there's a softness to it. Just really, really so good. But then throughout the evening, um, Zach also had the Weller Special Reserve and the Antique 107 opened as well. So we initiated our friend from Pittsburgh, who is not, he likes bourbon. He's not, you know, a bourbon enthusiast per se, but he wanted to sample and, and learn a bit. So he did a little flight of Special Reserve, the Antique 107, and then the Full Proof. I tell you, first off, I'm a fan of the Antique 107. Probably one of my favorite top bourbons. Unfortunately, we can't really get it. It's not readily available. But really good, I would say, daily drinker bourbon. But it is amazing what a what three and a half percent more. I think so. yeah, three and a half percent more alcohol content does to the Weller. So going from a one one hundred and seven proof to one hundred and fourteen proof. Again, all those really elegant, spicy, rich, caramelly notes. But then I was starting to get on on the second on the second pour of it. And I'm I'm not talking like a good healthy pour. I'm talking you know, a little bit like that. But you know maybe all together during the night a nice healthy pour. <laughs> thanks thanks again to Zach. But I was getting. Eggo waffles with butter and maple syrup. On that, on the second time I, I had it, it you get that wheat like that a sweet wheat like in a waffle. Butter, you get that a nice milky, uh, caramelly, um, buttery notes on it, and then you're getting a, undertones of maple syrup. Uh, not like. <laughs> Not, I want to say Aunt Jemima, but you can't say Aunt Jemima anymore. Um, you know, Mrs. Butterworth type of deal. I, I think we can still say Mrs. Butterworth or Vermont made. I don't even know if they make Vermont made anymore. Um, but you're getting that kind of a pancake syrup. No, you're not getting that kind of pancake syrupy thing. You're getting maple syrup, a nice thick maple syrup flavor. So all rolled up together in a, and giving you a warm hug. I tell you this right now is my number one. And I could not imagine like, you know, Pappy Van Winkle being better than this stuff. I mean, Weller Foolproof for me is where it's at. It's such a beautiful bourbon. Um, and when it does, I have to keep my eyes open for when it does drop here in the area, here in Ohio, or get my friends out and just look for it for me, I, I definitely want a couple of bottles of that um, to be able to enjoy. This one, though, is going to be, and every bottle is going to be, I think, for me, a special occasion type of bottle uh, to enjoy with the right people. So there you go. Weller, full proof bourbon. Maybe one of these days I'll Get a second bottle, open it, and compare and do a flight with, between uh, the, the wellers that I have. So there you go. Until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon, and thanks so much for watching. Hey, everyone. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.